Hi there, me little viewers, and welcome back to Sly 3. Before we begin Dead Men Tell No Tells of Chapter 5, I think it is time that I confirm something with you little skellywags. First off being, I... <coughs> I'm not going to do that voice in the main menu. Um, I've kind of been on the fence for this for quite a while now, but I think I finally decided that I will indeed do the Master Sprint Challenges after I finish the game. Um, I kind of don't want to, but at the same time, I 100% of Sly 1, I 100% of Sly 2, so I kind of feel obligated now to 100% Sly 3 and do the Master Thief Sprint Challenges. Uh, I know there's going to be a lot of failure involved, and I know that's going to suck, but regardless, after I finish the main Sly mission, or the main story, I will go back and I'll spend a couple videos on completing the game completely, and then I'll also do the bonus videos and all that. But anyways... Aye, it's time for Dead Men Tell No Tells. We got the message late one Saturday night. Dimitri was calling in the favor I promised him back in Holland. he gone ahead and booked the whole team passage under assumed identities to none other than Blood Bath Bay. Easily the most lawless town on earth. It's home to a group of cultural hermits who doggedly maintain the ways of their pirate forefathers. The cruise over gave us some time to get the rundown from Dimitri. I guess his grandfather, Remy Lestow, was a pioneer in deep sea diving. He'd made a fortune looting undersea wrecks. Although his luck ran short when a young cutthroat by the name of Black Spot Pete stole not only his loot, but his precious diving gear as well. A broken man, Remy retired from treasure hunting and eventually started a family. Dimitri, growing up on his grandfather's stories, dreamed of one day recovering the gear. So that was our task. We've been called in to get our hands on this miraculous diving equipment. Not all bad, really. If things go our way, the team might get a frogman out of the deal, which Bentley figures will be a big help cracking the Cooper vault. That Bentley, always thinking. Really, Sly is a hipster? Screw that. Sly is meant to be a pirate. A pirate Sly was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. I did men tell no tales. Now, I believe there's still quite a bit of stuff we have to buy. I actually spent a good fair amount of time off screen gaining a lot of money. I got 12,000 now, so hopefully I'm able to purchase everything. And I actually do hope I can. That's a lot of stuff at over a thousand each. Rage Bomb, not going to use it. Reduction Bomb, not going to use it. Just buying it to have it. Raging Inferno Flop, I might use that. Use wall jumping to create a wall of flame. Hopefully I don't need to equip that. Hopefully that's automatic. Diablo Fire Slam. Use while carrying an enemy to create a deadly firestorm. Again, hopefully I don't have to equip that. And I don't think I have enough money to buy everything. Uh, jump over vast distances. That's probably for... No, actually, there's no bottles in this game. What am I thinking of? Uh, thief reflexes. Slow down time. That might be a little bit useful. Uh, shadow power level 2. Jump attack level 3. And push attack level 3. We barely had enough of that, and there's still going to be a day 2, isn't there? And that's going to mean more stuff. Which means I need to get to pickpocketing. Anyways. I was thinking about doing this entire chapter. Black Spot Pete has retired and is living here in town. I'll mark his place with a waypoint. Now, I was actually considering doing this entire chapter in a pirate-type voice, but that just is too much strain on my throat, so... kinda decided against that. Would've been interesting, though. No! Now, where do I actually have that stuff equipped? Uh, L1 is Shadow Power. Thief Reflex isn't eh. I mean, I just don't see myself really using it that much. Alright, so we need to get up there. As long as we don't get spot up, as long as there's a few climbing spots, it shouldn't be that tough. Don't need to wake him either. Now, how do I actually get up there? 
I don't see any trampolines. Climb the rope. Oh, come on, you can climb the rope anchor. Anchor rope, whatever. Okay, lack of trampolines makes it a little bit more difficult to get up there. I'm actually kind of excited about this chapter, though, because... Surprise, I like pirates. There he is, Black Spot Pete. I didn't think pirates could get that old. Thought scurvy would get him or something. Don't lower your guard for an instant. All pirates are killers, plain as that. And they don't trust outsiders at all. How's your pirate accent? Arr, I forgot me number two pencil for the Scantron test. Joke all you want, but that guy won't help us out until you've earned his trust. Now I was fully expecting his name to be Polly. Ah, Polly want a cracker? He just fell off the roof. Yeah, he did. I guess he been drinking too much of that rum. He walked a plank on his own. So, um, we need a pirate disguise, don't we? Because I highly doubt he's going to trust us as we are now. I mean, we've gotten disguises in the other chapters. But hopefully we actually get to do something with him, unlike the last bird we encountered, Arpeggio. Black Spot Pete, I've come to talk of treasure, a subject I hear you're familiar with. Treasure! I... But I won't chatter with the likes of you on so blessed a subject. Get out of me sight, landlubber! All my years I only spoke of the golden kindness with me partner. Can't tank or steal. Maybe we can work out a bargain. Shut your mouth, whole lubber, and cock it with me cutlass. Hard on my tonsils, I assure you. Did anyone catch that? Thank God for subtitles. Salt of the earth, that black spot, Pete. It's clear to get anywhere with the old coot. We'll need to fool him into thinking that you're cantankerous, Tim. What happened to Tim anyway? His lieutenants mutinied on the old guy and divided the plunder, including his captain's outfit. This is the only real pirate town left. They must be around here somewhere. You're right. That's Stone Jake. Toughest guy you'll ever meet. He took the eye patch. Hmm. Tough enough to take an anchor dropped on his head? Good plan. That'll do the job, matey. Stone Jake has a thing about monkeys. If you whack the palm trees, he's sure to come running. Perfect for luring him under the anchor. Do we really need to actually steal their stuff? Couldn't we just forge our own pirate outfit? I mean... An eye patch is an eye patch. Come on, this way. I think that's what I need to do. I need to lure him over here. That's actually quite a ways. So hopefully he continues to follow me. Oh, that didn't work. Try that again. Come on. Don't shoot me. He's got a gun. He's got a... Actually, that's a barrel. He's got a cannon. Oh, good lord. Can't see anything. Continue to follow me, come on. This guy puts the Panda King to shame. Make it all the way, come on. Uh, da, da, quick. Stone Jake's in position. Drop anchor. Damn it. They said something about a palm tree and monkeys and something like that, but I don't know what exactly I needed to do. I admit I wasn't paying enough attention. Quick, drop it! Tricky monkeys! Okay, that's not what I was supposed to do. But I got it done anyways. And quite frankly, that's all that matters. I've already got a bead on the second lieutenant. He's in motion near the overturned boat. Yeah, I think what I was supposed to do was attack that and... cue monkeys to appear or something like that? I don't know. Screw it, who cares? We got the eye patch, that's all that matters. Can't be a pirate without an eye patch. Although we also need a hook for a leg, or no, a peg leg, a hook for an arm, and I guess some sort of flannel. I'd probably say we need a parrot too, but considering the fact that the parrots are the pirates, that doesn't really work out that well. How about a human on your shoulder? 
there's the second lieutenant. You need to steal his peg leg. Peg leg? Seriously? Isn't that kind of... harsh? You'll need it for the costume. It's very unique. Look, what you need to worry about is getting past his bodyguards. I'll have to pick them off one by one. Shouldn't be a problem. And you know what? I have the perfect move to do that. Ha! And now he's... And pickpocket the screws from his peg leg. And now he's all... Okay, never mind. He's actually chasing after me. That is not cool. I thought he'd be all alone. But didn't know how to fight. I guess that sword is not just for show. And I need some sort of cover so I can actually do this. Come on, go R1 or L1. There we go. Now hopefully they didn't respawn. And hopefully I can find them again. Watch, they're gonna respawn. How much you want to butt? They're gonna be there again. Okay, good. He turned- oh, that son of a bitch. He had to turn around. What a jerk. You don't see me? Come on, stop right there. Do not continue up. Good. Too bad he's gonna see me. No, okay. Try this again. Hopefully he doesn't turn around on us. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Wait, am I supposed to kill him or just pickpocket him? No, oh, I had to wait for him to sit down. Excellent work. You've just got one lieutenant left, Twitchy Ned. I'm afraid word's gotten out that someone is taking down lieutenants, and he's hiding out up in a crow's nest. Hey, which crow's nest? That, well, that's actually quite high. Here's the hope, and there's a good trampoline over there. Because otherwise, I don't... Well, I could probably climb it. Now, if I'm not mistaken, then I probably am. Uh, I believe that real-life pirates actually put a lot of oil or grease on their mouths. So hopefully we don't have to actually climb this thing. Actually, you know what? I have level 3, don't I? Actually, that didn't kill him. What the hell? I want a refund. I want a refund on my money. That didn't kill him, it barely did anything to him. Fine. Well, never mind, I was gonna say I'll just do the diving attack, that would've stunned him, and then I could've done the silent obliteration, but... That didn't work, and I did it. Okay, plan B. Always have a plan B when you're facing pirates. Damn it! Fine, you can't get me this way, can you? Everywhere. The dogs are closing in. Stay awake. Keep your wits about you, Ned. Stay sharp. Yes. Sharp as an axe. Sharp as a pin. Sharp as a tack. Sharp as a... Uh, I don't know. Ah! Oh, I know it. Tis true. An agent of Thames come for revenge. Chase him down. He's got Tim's hat. Now I'm actually an ally of Guybrush. Guybrush Streetboy. Mighty pirate. Yeah, you're not getting away from me. Actually, you know what? I can do this. If he is on flat surface for long enough, I should be able to get him that way. Get back here. No, don't fall in the water. Take that, scallywag. That didn't work! Oh, that jerk. I call shenanigans on that one. There's no way he should be able to do those traps on me. They're glowing with Sly's face, not yeah, his. Me. Would you die already? I am hitting you over and over again. Apparently they just want me to be a, at a specific spot. There is no actual fight him when you catch up to him and kill him and do whatever. No. Damn it! I really hate missions like this where you have to reach a certain point, not just attack the guy you're chasing and get him to stop. 
Where'd he go? And see, I was actually ahead of him. That's what makes matters worse. And he's actually stuck right there. Now would be the perfect time to get the hat. Seriously? Really? See, that right there, that is prime example of what I'm talking about. I had him cornered. He was mine. Who's a scallywag? You're the one not... Wow. You're the one dropping Arrest. traps on me. Gotta be careful up here, too. You won't take me. Yeah, avoid the shadows, too. Because I don't need that stuff being dropped on me again. I'm running low on health. No! This is where I messed up last time. You're kidding. No! Not again! For some reason, there's something there that keeps slowing me down. Really? My parachute just had to bump into that. We're going back to the start, aren't we? How far do you want me to chase you? No! God! Ugh. I don't like having to start this beginning each time. No, I'm just gonna go under. Hopefully this works. Because the last few times I've went over, I wasted too much time. Hey, it actually did. What do you know? Now, if I don't trip on this boat like I did last time... Okay, now he is cornered. There should be no way to escape. Avast there. You've got me with me back to the sea. I yield. I just wanted your hat. Me hat? That's what this be about. Take the moldy cut of cloth and away with you. As Bob Barker would say, that bitch needs to get neutered. Excellent. You've got the full cantankerous Tim disguise. Head on back to Black Spot Pete and pretend to be his old partner. And remember your pirate accent this time. I... Oh, that damn dog. That's all I gotta say about that. I should have got that hat a lot sooner. But for whatever reason, they wanted me to race all the way to the end of that island. They wouldn't allow me to catch them way back on the first boat. Well, we need to put on the disguise. I figured as much. Okay, so... What the hell? L1. You know, that disguise actually looks a lot like the free DLC you got for pre-ordering, uh... That Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter, Sly Cooper... Uh, I think it was called Heroes on the Move game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the free DLC costume you got with that. What? Cantankerous Steam! You're back, you two-faced Calloway! Aye, matey. And not to be rude, but let's talk of treasure. Arr. How about a round of vinegar talk first, you baboon-faced toilet? I've read about this, Sly. It's customary for pirates to engage in insult competitions. Just make sure you never repeat anything that's already been said. You take the first broadside, shipmate. Uh, oh, just idiotic. Puss, you idiotic puss faced cabin boy. You're a idiotic puss faced cabin boy. <laughs> but methinks you're a mumbling. Cross-eyed swabber. I and you are a pin-headed, barnacle-backed piece of filth. Oh, really? You're a pin-headed, barnacle-backed piece of filth. Ha! You swear like a child. You're a brainless, seaweed-slurping waste of skin. 
Aye, and you fight like a dairy farmer, and your mother fights like a sea cow. Yeah, bleeding. Yellow bellied. Well fart. Oh, yeah. You're a bleeding. Yellow bellied. Well fart. That be true enough, but you're a parrot loving, scurvy ridden cow pie. Hey, what's wrong with being a parrot lover? I a bit of a marooned, clam tongued sucker maggots. You are a marooned, clam tongued sack of maggots. Ha ha ha! But methinks you're a stupid, toothless bag of vomit. Okay, seriously, is it gonna continue on like this? Yeah, donkey ear, knuckle dragging, anchor head. You're a donkey ear, knuckle dragon, anchor head. Ha <laughs> Cantankerous Tim, it must be you. Forgive this old sea dog and his sunburnt eyes for not recognizing you straight away. I've never met a man on land or sea that could curse half as well. Tell me, shipmate, why after so long away do you drop anchor now? I've come for me share of the treasure we stole years back from that Remé Lousteau fella. Twas a good haul. Oh, speak of it while drunk often. <laughs> you and I burying the loot in the belly of Dagger Isle. Oh, and many a year I kept the map to the treasure hidden, safe as a swaddling babe. Arr, then let's have it. High time we dug up our retirement and lived as lords. It shames me fierce to tell you, shipmate, but I lost my galleon in a game of cards. And worse yet, the map was stolen by that terror, Captain Lefui. What? <clears throat> what? I'd have run him through with my cutlass before giving up so treasured a parchment. This Lefui's no ordinary buccaneer, no. He's earned the reputation as the smartest man on the seven seas. The devil lives in yonder keep. Tis there you'll find the map and your death as well. If you go for the treasure shipmate, you go alone. Missy Ferret is alone behind me. Thank you, Pete. You've been a good friend. Aye, and you're still a skinny, malodorous, hairy palmed bottom feeder. Aye, look behind you, it's a three headed monkey. There'll be plenty of dialogue in this chapter, though.